Good morning, mate. It's a beautiful day out here. I love these clouds. I could sit and stare at them all day. They're just awesome. They have got rain showers in them, though, so watch them as they come over. And I'm looking at a rather large, what looks like a thunderhead over there, a little bit to my northwest. You can see the rain out there. It's absolutely stunning. Look at that. I've always loved clouds, even as a kid. Okay, currently we've got a very light wind. It's blowing from the east. It's going to increase. They reckon currently it's about five miles an hour. It's supposed to get up to 15 by the end of the day. Water clarity, I'm going to put that at an eight. You've got four sets, two to three foot at the worst. It looks like the current's running from the north to the south which is strange. That might have been because we had a north wind cut in last night. Got a high pressure over us, so there should be considerable tide movement. We had a high tide at 3.30 this morning. Got a low tide at 5.24 this afternoon. Air temperature currently 89. Sea temperature 88. Group of pelicans flying over. The, uh, they are catching pomp. It seems to be the morning bite seems to have been better. I caught pomp yesterday. Several other sort of fish went out last night. It was real slow. So the morning bite seems to be what's kicking best at the moment. Seeing a lot of anchovy in the surf and ladyfish, of course, hammering them. They're still coming in and getting them. So that's always good sport. If you've got some kids, take them out, stick a little spoon on and let them throw. I would suggest you go down to a J-hook rather than treble hooks because them treble hooks, getting them out, can be a real pain. Something I want to show you, I just noticed, and this is the weirdest thing, but people catch hardheads and they throw them up the beach. That thing will flatten your tyres, it'll hurt a kid, and they've really got a job to do. They go around clearing all the crap up. They're quite constructive in a way. And just killing them and throwing them up the beach is ridiculous. You should let them go back in the water. All they do is cause a hazard. I'll put that one in the trash in a minute. So, there you go. That's your bollocking for the day. Um, People keep asking questions. What I'd like you to do is put your questions in the comment and I'll get round to them. I might even add them into a video to make it more interesting for everyone. So if you've got any questions, just stick it in the comments and I'll get back to it. Anyhow, you all have a great day. This is Nick Away from Breakaway. And by the way, when I answer them questions, I'll just give you my opinion. It doesn't mean it's fact. Because often I just think of shit. All right, you have a lovely day. This is Nick away from Breakaway. Stay safe. This is your best damn surf fishing report.